Hello and welcome to Expo City Dubai. Oh my gosh, finally we are back and we will begin this reopening of Expo here at the magnificent Alawasal Dome where in tonight they will begin to light up, light up this area as the beating heart of Expo. I mean, everything starts here. If you can remember way back October of 2021, last year, it all begins here, here, here. In the center of this dome, the spectacular grand opening of Dubai Expo 2020. And tonight, again, it's like saying, it's like magic coming back to life. At 6.30 p.m., we will witness the magical light and projection shows of the Alwasal Plaza. So stay tuned. For now, I'm going to take you on a tour inside the city. What change and what's more to come? So if you've ever visited Expo before, Dubai Expo I mean, this Alwasal Dome right here is the place where they usually held the biggest events and ceremonies like for example National Day, there are actually different country pavilions and for every National Day they are conducting the ceremonies here. So let's talk about Expo City, what is it really all about, I mean what is this place for? So Expo City is designed to be a 15-minute sustainable city. Yeah, a model city for the world wherein everything is accessible within 15 minutes. It's either by walk or by bicycle, by scooter, like from one place, from a restaurant, going to a mall, to a shopping center, to a coffee shop. Everything is within 15 minutes reach. So here, if you can remember Expo 2020 before, the food trucks are here. A lot of people are queuing for food. Like every hour, it's always full, it's never vacant. And here, this area right here is the Germany Pavilion. Bye bye Germany. I can't see any Germany Pavilion now. It's so big before and so amazing. You will learn a lot and you'll be entertained as well not just about germany but about sustainability that's the concept and no more it's vacant it's empty i don't know what's their plan but i miss one of the best pavilions one of my favorite pavilions. so that's the last video that i posted that's terra that's sta the sustainability pavilion and look at that that panel or those panels are facing now the direction of sunset yeah, it's designed like with the inspiration of the sunflower. So those are massive solar panels, guys. Take a look at that. Amazing. If you want to see the video of the Terra, I just posted it like two weeks ago. And I'll post the link as well. Now, Expo 2020, they are now selling tickets to enter these massive pavilions. There are three main pavilions, the Terra, the Alif, and one is not yet open, the Opportunity Pavilion. They just opened Women's Pavilion and one more. I don't know what's the name, I forgot, I forgot really. But if you enter four pavilions, you can get it for 120 dirhams. 
but if you'll just enter one pavilion, you have to pay 50. Not bad, not bad really. And it's free for kids below 12 years old. I can see some more country pavilions remained. We have Slovenia. We have Oman right there. Czech Republic is behind me. Oh, those, those pavilions remain. Wow. Slovenia. This is actually Sweden. I miss IKEA foods here. <laughs> That's the easiest meal, the easiest and the cheapest I can have during expo days. Alright. The city looks quiet. So quiet. Okay, that's Azerbaijan. Modern and simple pavilion. If you've ever been through the interiors of this one that's Uzbekistan here man it's so different it's always full of people especially during the last like three months of Expo 2020 all right some chaos happening that's Philippines right there Canada was already dismantled we have Venezuela Some works are still going on. Bye bye pavilion. I think that's Brazil. No. Correct me if I'm wrong. Or that's Peru? Oh, that's Korea. I think that's Korea now. Not really. Okay, it's so sad. It's so sad seeing these pavilions go. A lot of memories, beautiful memories. That's a Jubilee Park right there, where the massive concerts happen like every week, or shall I say, every day. Talabat Center. Like, you have to do your ordering of food online and they will deliver it within the expo area via robots. Amazing. There you go. This place before is the place for the dancing robots. That's a garden in the sky. That's paid now. Yeah, before it's paid as well. That's 35, 35 dirhams. It will take you all the way up and it will give you a 360 degrees view of the whole Expo 2020. Sorry, now it's Expo City. And here we are now entering the water feature. It's the surreal water feature. All right. Let me see if we still have time left. We have to see Al Wasl Dome as it lights up again. There you go. Oh, just right in time. The surreal water feature. Oh my gosh. This is amazing both during day and nighttime. But my favorite is the daytime. All right, let's go.
we are at the El Wasso Plaza right now right in the middle of the El Wasso Dome waiting for the beautiful projections to happen right here at the beating heart of Dubai Expo City it's like witnessing magic coming back to life I'm so excited Okay, so I think I'm gonna end this video right here. The projection shows are still going on. And what if I tell you that I'm standing right now in the platform or in the area where Christina Aguilera performed during the closing ceremony. That was really spectacular. And yeah, so much for the hype. And yeah, I'm glad to be back here at Expo City Dubai, formerly the Expo 2020, full of memories still amazing still awesome a little bit emotional and yeah i hope you guys had fun watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next more videos to come here at expo city we don't know what's coming up yet and yeah so for now we're gonna go home and i'll see you again next time that's it cheers bye bye